My name is Super Dev and I do it how I do. You're in Chester, PA, and you're watching Chester View. with the one and only Mr. Devin. Now we call him, he, he the man. He making things happen. As you can see behind us, the kids are packing out the place. Tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Well, what we got going on, we got a paint party going on and we, uh, it's an anti-bullying campaign. So we brought the kids in so they could get to meet each other, greet each other, have some fun with each other. This event is sponsored by Boundaries and Bridges, EGT Communities, the Artist Warehouse, just a bunch of organizations in the community that's making some things happen. My sister, Nett Pyatt, is up in the building putting it down. We got Donna Davis in here. She's working. You know what I mean? We got a lot of adults that are real concerned about the bullying epidemic here in the city of Chester. And we just wanted to put an event together and pull the kids together to combat that. Well, as you can see, this event is a successful event. This is just one of many events that are going to be going on. If someone wants to get in contact, keep tabs on how to get in, you know, be a part of the next event, how can they do that? Well, you can look at us, look us up on Facebook. A lot of the people came out because of our Facebook post. We got a page called Igniting the Arts in Chester on Facebook. You can find us there. We got Boundaries and Bridges, so you can uh, research that, what we're doing with Widen University, or just stop downtown Avenue of the States. I encourage you to come out and see some of the things that's happening on the Avenue. The 500 block is popping, and you missing out on it if you don't know now you know the arts are alive in chester stay tuned we got more arts right here in chester pa c city baby about um, the Stop Bullying campaign? Okay. Well, I got involved because one of the parents um, at a, one of the local schools, a uh, 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 daughter was being bullied as well as one of my uh, younger nieces were being bullied. Um, I run an organization here called the East Gateway Triangle Initiative, which is a lot of after school programs to teach uh, ed adults and youth educational and enrichment program and recreational programs just to keep them off the streets and get them involved in positive things. So Donna Davis, who is actually the parent that got me connected because she's actually one of my East Gateway Triangle parents. So I decided to do, um, help her out at one of the local schools. We did a small campaign event there. And we decided if we just do fun things, but at the same time plant the message of not being a bully and what bullying really does to young folks. Um, so this is what's just one of our first, our second of many that we're planning. We're actually gearing up for October 19th, which is National Anti-Bullying Day. So we're going to hope that all the schools get involved and, and organizations and do a campaign here in the city of Chester. We that want is, our youth to be positive. That is definitely a good point um, to show the kids what bullying does because some of them think it's, oh, we're just having fun and we're joking around, but it's, it's more serious than that. Exactly. So by the time a child gets home from school, the parents see a difference in them, but they don't understand why. And then if they don't open up to the parents, so we also got workshops where we're going to help the parents recognize the signs because it might be something that they're missing when a child comes home from school and stuff. So to help out as well. Is there a website people can um, check out well, for you? Numerous websi websites. Um, the government has them. And there's uh, kids.org. There's PACE, PACE called P A C E organization so it's numerous websites so we're pulling from information from all the websites and trying to integrate it with some of the teachers our community uh, organizations as well yep so we're just having fun today i know that's right thank you for your time thank you Are 
definitely alive in Chester. Tell us who you are and tell us about yourself. Well, I'm Uncle Joe. I've been doing this since I was 14 years old at the Leonardo da Vinci Art School in New York City. And uh, shortly after, let's say, many, many years, I moved into Philadelphia, and then I heard about Devin and his goings on with teaching uh, to build Chester, you know. So I wanted to participate and show the children how a little few tricks with feathers and doing some little masterpieces, you know. But keep art, art as, as a savior for Chester, you know, Avenue of the States. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. My pleasure to participate. I'm 92 years old. And August 1st, I'll be 92. Yeah. So it's uh, next, next, at the end of this month, the 1st of August, I'll be 92. Yes, thank you so much. You had the hat on. What kind of hat do you have? Oh, yeah. I'm a veteran of World War II. I was an amphibian in the 594th Engineer Battalion Shore Regiment, 4th Division. And I fought in Japan. Um, I fought the Japanese. And finally, they surrendered. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. I know the A-bomb was a terrible thing, but that's why I'm here. It saved my life. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Did you have fun with the arts today? Yes. Okay, did you learn with, Did you learn any tricks? Yeah, I learned the one with the feather. Okay. Uncle Joe showed you the one with the feather? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Joe. <laughs> uh, my art is about... Um, me and my mom looking at the sunset. That is just too precious. It's about like flowers and like about darkness when like flowers and stuff. So I just made like, like the outs, the, like this part. It was supposed to be like like a dark spot, like like around. I don't know, around the world where it's dark and these were like just creepy trees and flowers and stuff. So. But the flowers gonna bring out that color. But I like the fact that she added her own border. She said this gonna be on somebody's wall, so let me give a border right now. <laughs> Alright mom, tell us about your art. Okay, mine's is a jungle theme. And this is the lion. I have some bumblebees going around here, a ladybug, and just the scenery. <laughs> I love it. Thank y'all for sharing. Well, my sister Kalisha here is very talented. Um, she she paints, she sculpts, she's very modest, but she's here volunteering. So, I'm, why do you think it's important to make sure that these kids get this outlet? It's important because Chester has such rich arts history. The Alfred O. Young Museum is located right on the Avenue of the Arts. Over town is doing all of these amazing initiatives for arts and culture. Chester is is arts. I was born in Chester. I model. I am a sculptor. I people have done sculptures of me and different artworks of me, and I was born here. And art is just it just runs through us. I think. I really think that like I mean some of the artworks here were amazing in the kids. That actually, and Devin told me about that particular piece. <laughs> it is not me. It is not me. But I'll take it. <laughs> it can be me. Right? She'll take it. That's her, y'all. So I'm here with the, uh, the in-line version. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I do a little modeling, do a little bit of arts, but kids need art. Kids need an outlet. Children need an outlet. Um, and the, the platform of stopping uh, bullying is just the perfect outlet for children to understand what that is all about. The fact that Annette had that, you know, initial concept and wanted to create an event for the kids to understand it and do something that is um, is artistic and where they can express themselves and have fun and get to know each other. That is extremely important, mixed with the very important concept of, bull of stopping bullying. So children need 
to be able to express themselves. So I'm here to say that, you know, I will volunteer anytime for the Chester Maid Project, for the Chester Maid Initiative, and you can come and help and volunteer as well. If you have an interest, we're right here on the Avenue of the Arts, right? You get right off at the Chester Transportation Center. And in about two seconds, you'll be right here at this building. So, yes, I'm happy to be here and so thankful that you interviewed me. And that's it. As you can see, the arts are alive. We still have a young lady sitting here still painting her heart out. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Marcy Marr is here. As you can see, the arts are taking over in this building. Marcy, tell us about yourself. Sure. I am an artist, and I'm from Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Uh, my, my son is with me. He's behind me. Maybe he'll come on camera next. Um, and I'm involved with Chester as an art, as an art teacher and um, as an artist connecting um, on Avenue of the States as well as other uh, community centers. Wherever there's art, I'm, I'm here. Wherever there's people and art, I connect. That's amazing. So how important is it to have arts in the lives of the children? It's essential to have arts in the lives of children because this is, this is an outlet to express what's on your heart, what's on your mind. Um, and each child has a story, each child has lots of feelings, and it's a, it's a, a powerful and essential way to, you know, to come across and share and share their story. Mm -hmm. See, as you can see, arts are a way of expression, and these people are expressing a lot of fun right now. So stay tuned right here. Tell me about your art. It's a girl that um, she has two beauties inside, so she has half of her, like, her wounds, like, and one that people, like, so understand about her. And then she has a dark side, and then she has on the bright side, on one of um, all the bright colors, she has, like, a little bright side of herself. But sometimes when she's around people, she has like this dark side of her. You know what? I love that idea. This is very creative. Do you know that that you are creative when you thought about this? Yeah. Tell us about your painting. Well, when I really started, I really didn't know what I was doing. But when when other people look at it, they see different stuff. That is very true. Well, I see beauty all over it. <laughs> okay, tell me about this. It says Eric and Forty. What's that all about? This is my cousin. And he's gone. Yeah, that's a, this is a tribute to your cousin. Well, that is good. You did a very good job. You know that. Well, did you enjoy art? I mean, painting today. Yes. What different colors did you enjoy most painting? Uh, black and red. Black and red. Well, I think you did a fabulous job. Thank you. Tell us about this beautiful piece you have right here. Um, um, I just mix colors together and I just start spreading stuff all over places and I just ended up with this. If you, if if that's what you call just spreading, girl, you did an awesome job. <laughs> Thank you. What made you What made you start out with orange? That's my favorite color. That's your favorite color. And then what's going on with the purple? My daddy helps me. Your daddy helps me. You know what? That is, you are so blessed to have your daddy helping. Do you know that? So that you're having fun. He's like, as long as my daddy's here, I'm good, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's going on right here? What are you going to do with this part? Like my cousin Eric's name. Oh, okay. So we want to. She has a cousin. She got in a car accident. So this is for your cousin Eric? Yes. All right. Well, continue to keep doing good work, okay? Yeah. What do you have going on here on your painting? 
Well, I'm representing my um, my favorite team. And why are they your favorite team? Which channel? Because I they were good. They were good since they got LeBron back from the Heat. Well, there you go, right here, representing. All right, we're giving Cleveland Cavaliers, right? All right. Tell us about this beautiful picture you have here. I drew this picture because I like drawing drawing art and I like drawing flowers and I'm a good artist and I was the first artist in my classroom and that's how everybody in my classroom learned how to do art and I drew the bees, the, the birds, the sun and I drew wow because I like doing art and wow is because my picture is wow and these are all the worms in the grass and this is my flower. This is amazing, very creative. You got the worms. You, look, I like the fact that you said my painting is a wow, and I'm putting wow on it. You keep putting wow on your paintings, okay? <laughs> All right. What's your name? Michaela. Michaela, your paintings are definitely wow, okay? <laughs> As you can see, the arts are alive in Chester. How are you doing today, Brandon? I'm great. How are you? Good. Tell them a little pe the people about yourself. All right. Well, I'm Brandon. Um, I was born in California. Moved to New Jersey when I was three and uh, just started painting. Okay. Now, um, I hear that you want to be an entrepreneur. Tell us a little bit about the things that you enjoy doing. Uh, I enjoy painting and selling my paintings to make a living off of it. I currently don't work. Uh, I get most of my money off of painting. So you're an a artist. Okay, so when you paint and you sit down to paint, where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, well, I'm always online and I'm always on Instagram. So I always paint pictures of people that I see on Instagram. If somebody wanted to check you out on Instagram, how could they do that? Um, my name is Brand Flakes with uh, two E's after the K. All right, now I, I kind of know that you're into sneakers. Talk to us about how you feel about sneakers. Uh, well, I really enjoy sneakers. I have a lot of sneakers. Um, I like painting on sneakers more than canvas because you can actually wear them and people will notice it. So you do sneaker art. Okay, that's something different. Y'all check him out and check out his sneaker art. We right back. Right here, the arts are alive in Chester. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start, I want to, I want to introduce y'all to one of our master painters in the room. He's 92 years old. His name is Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe has been painting forever. He's a World War II veteran. He fought in the war. Those horses that you see on the wall, Uncle Joe painted. I mean, he, he made them and then painted them. He made them out of styrofoam. Uncle Joe comes down. He teaches the kids uh, painting. He does several classes with us. And then I leave from here, and then I go out with Uncle Joe and lands down. And he took me to a Zumba class. Now, I went to Family Circle Senior Center in a Zumba class with Uncle Joe. So we exchange our time with each other. So we bring Uncle Joe the artist to us, and then we go and do stuff with Uncle Joe. So I'm saying that to say, if y'all got grandparents and aunts and uncles that are older, don't be afraid to spend some time with them and do different things with them. Because you might find out that they're a master artist like Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe, you want to say something? Yeah. The best is yet to be or come, but if you guys need a few little tricks, I'll show you. Be glad to show you a few little tricks. Marcy is an artist. She does all types of stuff, abstract, a lot of real life stuff. This is one of Marcy's paintings, as well as the jazz piece that's behind Kimo the cameraman. Uh, so Marcy is a master painter as well. So the benefit for y'all coming to our paint classes is y'all going to get trained by all master painters. It's not like we're going to give you a painter who don't even know how to paint. We're going to give you all the best of the best. So when y'all leave here, the next time, y'all going to be teaching the class. Okay, so Marcy came with her son. Her son is also a painter. And he's an inspired, he's inspired to come up with his own line of sneakers, right? He's still working on the sneakers then. So he paints sneakers and he has a few other things coming on. We got Annette Pyatt here for everybody who may not know Annette Pyatt. She's got the Stop the Bullying shirt. She's a part of our campaign for Stop Bullying. I know a lot of people have been bullied before. Some people in this room may be the bullies themselves. So we want to make sure we have our time out with y'all because I encourage my son not to be a bully. Because if he bullies somebody, I'm going to bully him, which makes me a bully, which isn't good either. So we, this is a part of our whole getting together, combating some of the bullying. And sometimes 
Bullying starts with people not knowing each other. And in our city, we don't come together enough and have conversations with the adults and the kids and everything. So when they get to fighting, you don't even know who child they are until you argue with them in the school because their kid pushed or hit your kid. So we could combat that right now by doing this thing right here. And I like all of the people that came out. I'd like to say thank you to all of the parents that brought the kids out. Thank you very much. Girls. You know what I mean? Uh, even though it's raining outside, we start yeah, deep over here. Right. You know what I mean? My whole girl up here, Felicia Pitts, Hi. up in the front, more college. She's a business entrepreneur, an artist, a promoter, a marketer, and probably 5,000 other things. Nice to meet you all. Have fun. Okay, my name is uh, Jacqueline Goldsboro. And I met Devin after I started working over City Hall. I've always known about him. And I thought what he was doing was just so dynamic. And it was interesting that he was trying to revitalize this city. So I became a part of it. And a lot of times we sit down and we do a lot of planning. I have three girls myself. So for me, and they're grown, they have careers. So for me to take the time and invest in another youth, I think that's what's important today. You know, I don't have to worry about my girls because they're on the right path. And instead of being a part of the problem, we have to be a part of the solution and get hold of a child. If it's just one, two, three, whatever, to help these children out. So being a part of this, this makes my day. This makes my Saturday because usually I'm out shopping. Right. <laughs> well, this is definitely a good place to be. Stay tuned. We got more of the arts in Chester right after this. This is beautiful. Talk to us about your art. Um, it's going to be on display on rehash if anybody want to buy it. Um, is we're taking the auction. It's no set price. The bidding, just keep the bidding going up. It's for the kids. All right, y'all see <laughs> right here live. Stay tuned. Candy Pits again and I'm here watching Chester View.